He was the focus of a major drug investigation, but he died just days before sentencing. Tonight, federal prosecutors want to know if John Smith could still be alive. John Smith led the Afro Dogs Motorcycle Club here in Buffalo until police busted him on cocaine charges. And now there are big questions surrounding his sudden death two months ago. News 4's Luke Moretti has more on the investigation. Luke? Yeah, Jackie, according to minutes of a federal court proceeding earlier this month, government prosecutors have concerns about the manner of death and questions about whether John Smith actually died. And that's not sitting well with Smith's criminal defense attorney. Federal prosecutors have questions about John Smith's death and have left the door open to possibly disinter his body to get some answers. It's outrageous. Smith's attorney, Joseph Terranova, says the government had an opportunity to confirm his death. Terranova even sent prosecutors the death certificate, which lists the immediate cause of death as cardiac arrhythmia. I'm hopeful that uh, somebody... Uh, over on Delaware Avenue when the U.S. Attorney's Office is going gonna, is gonna to wake up from this bad dream and they're going to realize uh, just how stupid this is. John Smith, who held a leadership position with the Afro Dogs Motorcycle Club, was scheduled to be sentenced in federal court earlier this month on a drug and weapons conviction. But he died in June and was interred at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Buffalo, according to the death certificate. Normally, the indictment would be dismissed. But now prosecutors have asked the judge in the case for time to investigate, which could include disinterment. It's rare. But News 4 legal analyst Terry Connor says prosecutors have the right to do it. So they'd have to articulate some basis for why they feel that is, is not the right person currently in the mausoleum. Something more than just a mere hunch or a guess that would not permit you to go in and, and, and exhume a body. Terranova says it's peculiar as to why the death certificate is not enough for government prosecutors to dismiss the indictment. We have a government that is still looking for Jimmy Hoffa's remains and uh, uh, Elvis Presley and, and all kinds of sightings occur all over the country. I don't know whether there's been a purported John Smith sighting somewhere, but uh, I'm not aware of it. Well, we tried reaching out to U.S. Attorney William Hochul for comment, but we were told that he was unavailable.